So we're back in uh, survival mode now and I've been down and found uh, a natural cave right below my base. I'll just give you a quick run around. Uh, I've got a chest here full of the stuff we need to make some turtles outside. I've planted uh, a farm here for trees. Now this is specifically made in a 4x4 four four, uh, layout because one of the programs on the turtle has been designed to to farm and we'll be showing you that shortly. So uh, I'm in a peaceful mode at the moment so that we don't get disturbed by most uh, any monsters and uh, that, that helps to uh, make sure recordings go smoothly. So first job is to make the turtles. So I'll just extract what we need. There's enough. I found six diamonds. So I've made two uh, pickaxes and it's that that we'll be using uh, to, to make two turtles with. This stuff here will make an advanced turtle, but I don't have enough pickaxes just yet. So crafting is fairly straightforward. You take uh, cobblestone and cook it to make um, smooth stone. In fact, what we'll do is I'll do the, the two of them together here. And then redstone in the middle and glass pane on the outside and that gives you a computer so we we'll want two of those now to make the turtles you put the computers in the middle and you need a chest so obviously i'm doubling this up because i've got enough for two and then you encase them in uh, iron ingots and that makes the turtles so the difference between the two is that the uh, turtles are fixed, they can't move, sorry, the computers are fixed and can't move, uh, so you can control uh, things and, uh, and control other turtles by uh, wired, uh, wireless modems, but the turtles are the ones that actually move around. At the moment this is hasn't got any weapons or, or anything, it's, it's kind of a bit useless. Uh, so you can make various types depending on the tools that you attach to them. So I'm going to attach a crafting bench on one side and a diamond pickaxe on the other and you should get a crafty mining turtle. So we'll get one of those and we'll do the same with the other one. So you can see apart from the diamonds to make the pickaxe these are very cheap to make. So we now have two crafty mining turtles. Now these won't move unless they've been fueled. You can fuel them with coal, but it's actually better to fuel them with uh, lava if you can get it. So luckily I have uh, a lava lake out here on the surface. So we'll head over and uh, refuel from there. So this lake is fairly close to my uh, temporary home so this will do nicely. So we're now going to set up the uh, turtles. Let's put them both in. Now at the moment although these have been created they don't exist as entities in their own right. To do that you have to name them. So let me place this one down on the ground there. Right click it and it starts up its uh, uh, it gives like a message of the day which is a little bit annoying but you can get rid of it. So the first job is to set its uh, label. So we just use this label set and I'm going to call this one minor zero zero. Press enter and that sets its label. So now you can see that as I move away from it uh, and towards it the, the label appears just like a label on any other uh, entity. Uh, now the other thing to do is if I list any programs that are running you'll see there's nothing in there apart from its read-only memory which we don't interfere with. So I usually create um, a dummy file which I call test and then control save and control exit. This is not strictly necessary but the reason it, I'm doing so is that it makes this computer show up on Windows Explorer which I'll now show you. 
So this is uh, Windows Explorer of this particular save. Uh, you'll notice that I've saved this in Dropbox. So I've launched this as a portable app, so I have many different various versions of Minecraft. The, the uh, methods of doing that is on, uh, on my uh, video series, so you'll be able to find that so without too much trouble. But uh, here you'll see we've now got inside the save, this one is called CC Tweaked Tutorial, Computer Craft, Computer. And we've got a computer zero with the test.lua which I just created. So that has now been done by the uh, um, labeling it and creating this test file. So the next thing we need to do is to download uh, the all the files that we're going to need, which uh, are all stored on my Pastebin account, and the link for that will be in the description. So here's my Pastebin account, and uh, so we'll get that out of the way. I'll just I'll put the link for that in the description, and we'll paste that into there. And what I want to try and do, if I can, is to get the Windows file up at the same time, so that as this runs, you'll see these files being um, drawn down. So if I hit that and then get that one back in you'll see that the files as they are being downloaded from pastebin are appearing in Windows Explorer here so all of these have a use which I'll go through once they've been installed but the one that we'll be using first is this one here called lava refuel Okay, so everything's done. So it's all been uh, downloaded into the, the Turtles uh, operating system here, uh, in including this library folder, which has a couple of uh, uh, menus and other libraries that the Turtle uses. So don't worry about that. It's all done automatically for you, if I just get that uh, out of the way for the moment. So what we'll do now is to refuel the turtle. As it's got no fuel in it at all, it's incapable of moving except by rotating. So I'll just manually pick up a, a piece of uh, a bucket of lava there. And then we'll run, uh, I think it's called lava refuel. Yes, there we are. So we hit lava refuel, press enter. Place me in front of the lava. Which side has more lava, left or right? Well, as we can see, there's more on the right. So we'll hit R and enter. It's refueled with what was already in the lava, accepted the bucket, and now it's moving across and refueling. Now the standard turtles only take a maximum of 20,000 fuel, so which is 20 lava buckets. So uh, this won't need to go very far across, probably another row or two rows and that will um, do the job. Now because that block was there it hasn't continued over the row but it will continue up the next one fully. As you can see this lava is only one block deep so there's not a massive amount here but it's certainly enough for these two turtles. do on, on its way back is just to check to see how much fuel it's currently got. It's almost there so we could actually control T to terminate that. We don't need to waste fuel because once it reaches 20,000 it won't um, do any more. Now we can start to use some, obviously I don't want to break this over the lava because uh, it's perfectly safe to travel through the lava in its full form, but as uh, as a, a non-entity, when you break it, it will be dissolved by, by the lava. So the safest thing to do is to bring it back home. Luckily, it's not too far away. I can still right-click on it. And this is where we can use, if I list the things there, we've got um, B, which is short for back, forward, uh, go, up, down, and then various other things left and right so we kind of what we want to do is we can either go back say two or three spaces um, or we could rotate it so let's uh, let's keep it as simple as possible 
let's rotate it right or left we'll go right two times so r2 that's turned right now we'll make it go forward we'll go one two three let's make it go five forward so we go forward five and then we have to give some kind of letter i usually word use the word d short for dig and then it will dig forward when it reaches that block so we'll press enter there and it's now safely back at home now we can break this one pick it up and he's safe so we're going to repeat that i'll do that off camera with the other turtle so that we've got both of them fully fueled right, both turtles have been fully refueled so uh, i'm going to start one by uh, harvesting the wood from this uh, forest here so we place it down this time I'm going to run my toolkit, which is what this series is all about. So it's just TK short for toolkit, and that will give you this uh, option here. So we're going for the forestry run, just two, and then we want to um, harvest tree farm, which is four. Hit four on there, and then place me in front of the first tree on the lower left corner of a 4x4 four four trees or 8x8 eight eight trees square fuel not required as logs will be used enter to continue what size is it well it's 4x4 four four, so we'll hit the 1 and then with luck that should start to do its job here so what it does is it goes up the tree and rotates at the same time the reason for rotating is to collect any saplings it can from uh, leaves uh, it's not designed to chase all of the side branches because it starts to get too complicated and it's easier in a farm situation to just uh, have it go vertically up move diagonally and come down again and then repeat for the whole of this 16 by 16 square so this is obviously a bit boring to watch so i'll uh, edit that as soon as it comes back down and uh, we can check what uh, what it's managed to pick up Okay, it's nearly down, so I just wanted to show you how it moves across to the next tree. So this farm is not an automatic one. We have to manually put the turtle in place and start it off. But uh, the one I showed you earlier in the video was an automatic one. Uh, the reason for not making this one automatic is that these two turtles are the only two we've got. They're very valuable. So it's not until you get a bunch of turtles that you can then delegate one for purely for, for looking after a farm and another one for looking after uh, the uh, crop farms so but at least it shows you what's happening there so again we'll um, pause the video here and uh, wait till it's uh, finished the entire forest here